The NLC president, Comrade Abdul described the late Professor Festus Iyayi as a very dear and viable person to the union. He recalled his contributions to the struggle for better governance with the union when he spent his sabbatical with them. He said the role the late former ASU president played during the last negotiations over ASU strike portrayed him not only as an activist but a true nationalist. He attributed the cause of death, amongst others, to the state of the roads, particularly the local Jabuja road, and the recklessness on the parts of a convoy of the Kogi state governor. The federal government could be highly blamable for the criminal neglect of you know, the issue of the construction of the Kocha Abuja Road, which had been, whose contract was given over 10 years ago. And while other, other roads have been completed, but the Kocha Abuja Road remains something else. And therefore, we believe that if not for that uh, criminal neglect, neglect, maybe this uh, very sad event will not have happened. In his response, Governor Shamuli said there are several lessons to be learned from the situation, pointing out the need for state chief executives to always caution their drivers and security operatives on the need to have regard for other road users. He said despite the worsening condition of the nation's highways, some drivers are careless and reckless. Governor Shamuli, however, called on the Federal Road Safety Corps to be alive to their responsibility. I think all of us must consciously work to get our drivers and security details to respect the right of citizens. And I hope the Federal Road Safety to beyond uh, symbolism, changing of driver's license every other season. And they really get back to work and justify the huge resources that they consume in the name of maintaining and ensuring that people comply. One minute silence was observed in honor of late Professor Iyai. Christy Macaulay reporting.